Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second leg and the last leg of the semifinals for the Russian Cuba Cup, Zenit St. Petersburg at home versus CSK Moscow. And we kick things out with a 1 1 draw last match, as we saw in Moscow, where both clubs had scored some you know good, very, very important goals. So here we go. We start with a draw. So now I won't even I won't even go that far, I won't even do a proper introduction. We'll get straight into the reaction. Final score, nil-nil, and Zinyet, we won on penalties by one goal, 5-4, and we are going to the finals against Baltica for the Russian Cuba Cup. So first of all, I do apologize for messing that up. I was thinking that it was the finals, so I read things wrong, so I do apologize for my misinformation. But yes, it is the semifinals, and now we are going to the finals. And you may say, why am I not am I not happy? There's nothing to be happy about. I will say it out loud and with full honesty. This is one of the worst football games I've seen in a while. Like I could not understand what type of football are we were playing. But actually, both clubs were playing horrible football. I, I couldn't understand. I was like, this is the semifinals. There was no excitement. There was no passion. There was no, like, no ambition in football. Like, there was no shots on goal. There was no exciting moments. There, 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 there wasn't even no moments. There was zero moments, zero goals. It was such a boring football game. Like, as simple as that. The only thing that was... Fantastic was our fans and our fan base really showed up and I'm really proud of our fans and I and I hope that we keep the, the, the support and we show how loyal we are to our club. We love our club, but that in the last few games now, I consider this as a loss. I consider this as a draw because yes, indeed, it was a draw. If it wasn't for the penalties, it would have been a six match. So I will say once again, it has been Six matches in a row for us, winless. I don't consider today as a win for me in my eyes. Because that was terrible football. I believe it is 100% luck. It could have been either way. But both clubs, they both played. We and them, we played some terrible football. Very, very boring. No shots on goal. I cannot believe it was called football. I could not believe what I was watching. Like, Straight up, I was watching the, this match live and I was so bored that I had to go on my phone. Like, there's there nothing happening. There was just nothing happening from the first minute till the 90th minute. There was nothing happening. I could not understand what I was watching. It was just no excitement. There's just no emotions in that match. It was, I could not believe I was watching football with no emotions. And it's my favorite club. So I was really heartbroken by the lack of effort. Yes, at the end, wow, everybody was, was, was celebrating and stuff like that. But the true fans, they know how bad it is for us. And our performances are, are terrible, are terrible. If, if it was a league match, it would have been a draw. And basically, yes, we could say that officially it is still a six games in a row for us, realistically, winless. This is unacceptable. Nobody played well. Nobody did did what they had to do. Nobody gave a, per, a, a nice performance. I mean, for, for me, there is no man of the match from, for both clubs. Like, nobody played well. But the only one thing that kind of changed, like, changed a lot for CSK Moscow is that their second goalkeeper was injured. And another, actually, matter of fact, their, their goalkeeper got injured in like the, I think it was like in 25th, 28th minute, around that minute. So he got injured very, very early in the match. So if he played all the way till the 90th minute, things would have been differently since he, he is a very, very talented goalkeeper. And so now they had to rely on their 18 or 19 year old goalkeeper, very, very young goalkeeper. And he's third string. So he's not even the starter and he's not even the backup. He's like the third string after Akin Fiv and Darup. I think his name is Vladislav Darup, if I'm not wrong. If, if, if I am wrong, I it, it is Vladislav or Vladimir Tarup, it's one of those, but I know that's, that's his name. He's a, he's a second backup after Akinfif. So they had to rely on the, their third string goalkeeper and we could not score a goal. 
we could not score a goal. There, there was no offensive, uh, there, there was no ambition, there was no urgency. It did not feel like we wanted to go to the finals. It did not feel like we were in the mood to score. It was just terrible. Everybody that was on the pitch were terrible. And the thing that really frustrated me the most is that between the 45th till I would say the 60th minute, it became an injury show. It became a clown show. Like players were falling off. Except the, the goalkeeper of CSK Moscow who got into a head on a head collision with a big, strong uh, Nurali Alip. That wasn't acceptable. But I understand that football is a very intense sport. It takes a lot of toll on the knees. It takes a lot of toll on the legs. It takes a lot of toll on the stamina. So I understand if if you get cramped up. But getting cramped up around the 45th, 60th minute, that early in the game, something is not right. And both teams, like I'm talking even about Zinyet, what is happening with this? Like, were both clubs like not fit? Were they like not prepared? Like... Were they not healthy enough? Like, like nobody had injuries, yet they started cramping. Like, does it doesn't mean that, that that both teams' fitness level was terrible? Because I this this is what I've seen, and I think it's not normal. I've seen I've been looking a lot of Champions League football, and it, and the type of crampings like like that it happens in extra time most commonly, and sometimes it happens around the 80, 80th minute, 90th minute with extra time. That's when it happens. If it happens then, I totally understand. But happening in 45th minute, between the 45th and the 60th minute, it's totally unacceptable. It was a clown show. I could not believe what, what I was watching. First, the football was terrible, and then the, the diving and then the, the fake injuries. I, I consider that as fake injuries. Like, how can you have a cramp? That just means that both clubs' is fitness level was absolutely terrible so i don't see any point to celebrate there is no point of celebration it was a lucky win it's not even a victory it was it was a draw and if we were if we're honest with ourselves in reality it should have been a draw if it was a league match so we just, they, like we just got lucky that we won on penalties and even in the penalties i feel like it just went our way and we just got lucky and we and we won by one goal as well so they did well as well. like moscow had their chances we got our chance and, and we just scored one more goal i was even impressed in the penalty so nothing was impressive about this match it's a match that i i wish i did not watch it was terrible to watch it was just very very boring and just it's a match that i just wish that i could have done something else but watching that match and it's really heartbreaking being such a big fan of this club. I, I just cannot wait for it for the season to end. It was it's such a boring season. And what what an horrible, horrible performance that we're putting so far. Now we have about three more matches left. We have Baltica in the finals, and then we have Ahmad and Rastov. And I don't I don't like once again I don't have any expectation. I still I think we're gonna put some more bad performances like Everything has fallen off. The defensive wall, the offensive wall, the midfield, everything is just in crisis. Nothing is working. There's no chemistry in the club. There's no passion. There's no ambition in the club. Like, there's nothing to look forward to. Maybe we may win against Rastov, but Ahmad, we are going to struggle since Ahmad are in a very good performance at that point recently. So we're, we're going to struggle really badly we may get our our behinds kicked really bad and we we may get beat up very badly so that's just what to expect but honestly like we're gonna have a very long end of the season and time is clicking but i cannot wait for the season to end honestly and one of the bad news i've, I've been hearing is that Zinzinet the the board and the staff are talking about an extension for Sergei Simak. That's a big mistake. I don't want to talk about it in this video uh, because it's going to be a long video, and you know we have plenty of time to talk about it at the end of the season. But that would be a terrible, terrible mistake. I know it's getting close, so I can't do much about it. But it would be a horrible mistake. Like I've had enough of him. We get, we're all getting tired of, of his boring football. So if Sinit makes it then we're going to have a long three, four, five season, depending on his contract. So, spasiba to all, spasiba for watching my video. I wish you all a good night. Take care, everybody.
دست بدنیه